Now to a city waiting and now preparing for what could come, Ferguson, Missouri. A grand jury yet to decide whether the police officer who shot Michael Brown, an unarmed black teenager, will be charged in his death. Tonight, businesses there boarded up, yet with the spray-painted message, we are open. They are simply bracing themselves in the meantime. And tonight, word of gun sales on the rise in that city. ABC's Steve Osinsami is there. Today, grand jurors are still hotly debating possible charges against Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson. And for the first time, hearing from this man, the medical examiner hired by Michael Brown's family. What Dr. Michael Bodden shared is private, but in his autopsy from August, he concluded that the white police officer shot and killed the unarmed black teenager from a distance. There weren't uh, signs of a struggle. That's key because the county's autopsy suggests that some of the gunfire was at close range and even inside this police SUV, supporting police accounts that Brown fought with Officer Wilson in his patrol car and went for the officer's gun. Businesses across Ferguson are preparing for the worst, worried that if the grand jury fails to indict the police officer, the city might burn. We went to a firing range and gun store where thanks to frightened families, they say sales are up 300%. The most popular gun, this 9mm Smith & Wesson. How many of these will you say you've sold in the last few weeks? In the last few weeks, I would say probably 250 of them. The black state highway patrolman who's been trying to put a different face on police efforts here, hoping for peaceful protest. We're going to ensure that this community reigns whole. More than 1,000 police are on standby with more than $120,000 worth of new riot gear and rubber bullets. The grand jury here holding its secret proceedings at this county courthouse could come down with its decision within the next few weeks or the next several days. David.